Hi everyone, it's Mike and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it's been a while since I've posted something and I just really want to apologize but if you guys have been keeping up with me in my Instagram, you guys would know that I'm currently in the Philippines. I normally just fly back and forth in Manila. It has been a bit of a transition period for me, but now that I've settled, I am going to be vlogging again. A lot of you guys have been requesting for me to do a Q&A video, so I have done just that. So I've actually just written everything down on a piece of paper and I just shoved it into like some random fruit bowl I found in the house and I'm just gonna pick it out and then just answer it as I go along. Thank you guys for sending me all these questions in. Um, you guys are absolutely amazing for showing some interest in my life. I received quite a lot of thirsty messages as well so my plan is to name and shame you guys. Jokes. I would never do anything like that. I'm not that evil. Or am I? Nah, I don't name and shame. Might save all those thirsty comments for another video. Let me know what you guys think below if that's something you guys want to see. If you haven't already, just hit subscribe below. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get to it. So I'm a little bit nervous. Okay, let's see what the first question is. Diet plans and how regular do you hit the gym? I'm honestly not that strict with it, but I do try to have a routine. So every morning I try to eat foods with lots of fiber and it's usually very simple food. I eat oatmeal or whole grain cereal with skim milk or low fat milk. I also mix some fruit in with my oatmeal or cereal, so either be banana or mangoes. For lunch, I normally have like a protein rich diet, so like either half a chicken or even a steak with lots of green vegetables. Some arugula with pear, and some cranberry, so that's always my favorite. But I love my carbs as well, so I tend to eat lots of pizza and pasta. I'm really guilty of that. But in that case, if I do eat something like that, I really work hard at the gym. For dinner, I normally I normally eat something rich in protein, so it'll be like either fish or steak and just lots of vegetables. So I try not to eat too much rice at night. Alright, so the next question, how's your life in Sydney? Last time I was in Sydney was a month ago, so I've been in Manila for about a month now. I love Sydney, it's my home. Which reminds me, I'll probably give you guys a tour of my favourite places to eat in Sydney, because some of you guys have been requesting that too. And with coffee, I love the coffee in Sydney. Over the last few months, I've tried coffees in different countries and I don't mean to be biased, but the coffee in Sydney is still one of the best. Especially with brunch food. I have a lot of favorite brunch places and I have not found anything yet in Manila or overseas that is probably on par with the brunch food in Sydney. My life in Sydney is excellent. I can't wait to visit again, but at the same time, I love it here in the Philippines. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. What is your ideal partner? So I just want someone who's loyal and who genuinely cares and listens. Someone that has great communication, someone that I can talk to um, without any judgment. So um, that is my ideal partner. Okay, the next question. Ooh. <laughs> so this one, I was afraid that I'll get because I know it'll be very embarrassing when I do it. Would you speak Tagalog without having an accent? It would be nice to hear you speak Tagalog. Oh, this is so embarrassing. Okay. Hi, kam oh. <laughs> kamusta ako si Mike? Nandito ako sa Pilipinas. Mainit na yon pero Ooh, it is raining. Mahal na mahal ko yung lahat. Thank you all for um, following me on uh, sa Instagram. Sobrang grateful ako. Gusto kong kumain... Uh, gusto kong kumain sobra. So, grabe. So, I've lived in Australia all my life, so... There hasn't really been a reason for me to learn Tagalog there and my family speaks to me in English all the time unless they're really angry So I know a lot of the swear words Next question 
is fitness routine tips. Okay, so I think it's very important to have a routine when it comes to working out. It is so important to be consistent with your workouts. Um, to be honest, there are days when I just don't feel like working out. But at the same time, I try to motivate myself because I know that if I start skipping workouts regularly, it's going to be a lot harder to come back to. Even if you're exhausted from work, if you just had a general bad day, it is difficult to exercise sometimes, but you will feel a lot better once you work out. Believe me, once the endorphins kick in, you are gonna be a lot happier. So just have a light workout, even if, it, if you're feeling crap, you're not feeling your best, it really helps a lot. Monday's my chest, Tuesday's my arms, shoulders and back. Wednesday's is optional. I normally take a break or I squeeze in cardio on that day. I do leg day on Thursday. And Friday, I squeeze in chest again because my goal is to try and get a bigger chest. Saturdays and Sundays, sometimes I just take a break and I just eat my heart out. And then the cycle continues and I start everything again on Monday. Okay. Bakit ang ganda ng ningipin mo? Bakit ang ganda ng nipin mo? Thank you so much for that. That's a huge compliment. I try to take care of my teeth. So like everyone else, I'm sure everyone brushes their teeth twice a day. I brush my teeth morning, so right after I eat. And if I drink coffee or anything like that, so I'm a huge coffee lover, I always brush my teeth after coffee. If you leave it in, it will definitely stain over time, especially if you're a regular coffee drinker and you work in the office or something like that, you tend to drink coffee every single day. What I do is I normally keep my toothbrush and some toothpaste with me in like a little toiletries pouch and I just take it with me everywhere because when I'm out and about or if I have cast things or anything like that, I can't afford to have any stains on my teeth or anything stuck in my teeth. So I also bring some dental floss as well. So I quickly floss if I have a meeting with someone or if I have a videotaped recording for a casting or any photo shoots or anything like that. And just recently, I also went to Smile Bar in BGC and they did an excellent job with whitening my teeth. When they did a measurement between my previous shade of my tea to the new shade after the treatment it actually became eight shades wider and I did not notice how stained my teeth were. So I'm gonna link you guys below in the description so you guys can check out the prices and you can find a solution that's best for you. Right so how do you take risks? It's important to take risks but it's also important to take calculated risks. So you probably have a plan before you take the risk and before you execute that plan and also trust your gut feeling if you know deep down and you know in your heart that taking that risk is the best thing for yourself it is important to listen to other people's advice but in the end it is your life you should do what you makes you happy okay <clears throat> hi Michael what's your favorite movie on Netflix I think it would have to be Kill Bill so I know Kill Bill was on Netflix but to be honest I watched Kill Bill way before it was on Netflix and it is one of my favorite movies of all time. I think Quentin Tarantino is a great director. The plot, the cinematography is just absolutely perfect. Um, I was so entertained all throughout. So there's two volumes to Kill Bill. It's a very empowering film. It teaches some very good life lessons in terms of character building and resilience. Highly recommend watching that movie. Okay, what is your zodiac sign? So my birthday is September 14, which makes me a Virgo. A couple of the traits that um, I know about the Virgo are we're apparently perfectionists. I don't do things half-hearted. So if I set my mind on something, I tend to put full force into it. And I'm so focused on that task that I'll finish it end to end to the best of my ability. Virgos tend to have OCD. So if something is out of place, I'll just subconsciously just fix it. Okay, so the next one is, oh, this is a very heavy one. Have you ever been cheated on or cheated before in a relationship? Thanks in advance for the honesty, exclamation mark. Yes, so unfortunately you have been cheated on. It is the worst feeling in the world. One of the lessons to learn from that is if you know you've been cheated on, don't force yourself to try to make it work if the trust is broken because it's just going to create um, a very toxic relationship for yourself and whoever you're with. As I got older, I realized that, you know, it's, it's not worth pursuing if the person doesn't have faith in you. 
um, they're unfaithful or anything like that. I just have zero tolerance for anyone that cheats. Okay, the next one is, Hi Michael, how do you get your perfect lower pecs? Trying to work on mine, but I can't seem to get it in. Lower pecs, so this one here. <laughs> Feeling myself. Feeling myself. Okay, I'm not doing that again. So what I normally do is, I normally put the bench. So just make sure you get a bench that inclines downwards. So when you're lying down, you usually have a bar on top, and then you just lift it up like that. My plan is to actually do a workout video because that is one of the requested videos too. But if you're on the incline, you will like, you will lie down like this. Oh shit. Something like that. And you just push upwards and then somehow it just develops. Okay, so what scares you? Oh, I think the idea of not knowing what the outcome would be, that probably has to do with my risk level or risk tolerance. It really depends what context. But in terms of like really shallow things, like the dark for instance, I need to have a bit of light, especially if I'm like in a hotel room or something like that. I need to have a night light on because I don't know if the room is haunted. If I'm in a hotel room, I need to see if there is something standing in the corner. I don't want to see a silhouette, I want to see the whole thing there. Preferably, I don't want to see anything at all. How do you maintain that angelic young face? Honestly, when I read this or when I was writing this down, I don't know how to respond to it. I think it's just having a very active and healthy lifestyle encompasses being happy in an emotional level, on a physical level, on a spiritual level, psychological level. Once you achieve balance in all those, make sure all those aspects in your life are in order. If you're sad, go talk to someone about it. You don't want to internalize everything. Whatever you feel like doing, just do it. Do what makes you happy. So camera you use to take IG photos. I recently bought a Canon mirrorless camera. It's the EOS M50 series. It is an excellent camera, so I'm actually using it right now to record. Honestly, I am a noob with cameras, so whenever I use a camera, it is on the automatic setting. If it doesn't have an excellent automatic setting, chances are I won't get the camera, but I love Canon. I've always loved Canon cameras. If I don't have my Canon camera, I just use my iPhone, especially for IG stories. I just use the portrait mode for my Instagram on the iPhone. Alright! <laughs> Is it sex or chocolate? Ooh, can I have both? <laughs> but I love chocolate. I really love chocolate. I'm a chocoholic. I didn't realize I was a chocoholic until probably the last two years. I can eat chocolate every single day. So chocolate with macadamias, chocolate with almonds, dark chocolate, white chocolate, milk chocolate, ruby rose chocolate, salted caramel chocolate, orange and dark chocolate, chocolate cake, chocolate cookie, chocolate tiramisu, melted chocolate, chocolate strawberries, blah. The list goes on. I can do any type of chocolate. Sex. Yes, I love sex. Do you have a Filipino blood? No, I do not have a Filipino blood. I don't recall ever taking a Filipino blood. But if you mean that I have Filipino blood, yes, I do. Uh, but I also have mixed Spanish, Japanese, and Filipino in me. Shake, shake, shake. Any plans to visit Korea? Yes, I really do want to visit Korea. It is definitely on the list. I am obsessed with Korean barbecue, and I think that is one of the main reasons why I want to go to Korea. I also want to go for the skincare products because um, a lot of you guys know Korea is like one of the leading countries with skincare, and as you guys know, skincare is very important to me. So. Um, I think that is a go-to place. And I really do want to see the culture. Surprisingly, guys, I can read Hangul, which is the Korean characters. Funny thing is, I can only read it. I can sometimes make up the words because it is very phonetic. But the majority of the time, I have no idea what the words mean. Uh, but if someone is willing to teach me Korean, let me know below. So, the next one is light on or off. So I'm going to make this G-rated. If I am in my own house, I always sleep with the lights off. But if I am in like a hotel room or any other foreign environment, I prefer to sleep with the lights on. I want to see what's around, especially if I wake up at 3am in the morning and I don't want to see anything standing in the corner. 
um, or any weird silhouette or some conjuring shit happening I don't want to see the nun I don't want to see Emily Rose or Samara from The Ring I don't want to see any I don't, I don't want none of that I don't want any of that So definitely lights on You mentioned before that you're a sweet tooth What's your favourite dessert? I think my favourite dessert would have to be anything with ricotta So ricotta cheesecake, ricotta pancakes It's really bad to have a sweet tooth because I crave sweet things any time of the day and once it hits, I think about it all the time So if you're talking to me like this and I'm just staring into space like that I am thinking about dessert Don't take it personally but if you talk to me if you know me and you see me just gazing off into the long distance I am just picturing a cheesecake in the horizon and I, I need the cheesecake Alright, so I hope this is a good question What's your Instagram password? Ooh, my Instagram password is um, if you guys can help me out that would be great because I have no idea what my password is I'm automatically logged on all the time but I'm pretty sure my password is um, it's I, I have no idea so if you happen to hack into my Instagram account and you change my password please let me know what it is because you are doing me a favor I am so tired of resetting my passwords every few months it is absolutely frustrating so if you guys can help me out that would be absolutely fantastic all right cool. do you plan on becoming a university lecturer for social sciences do I look like a lecturer do I sound like a lecturer the answer is no a flat no um, I don't think I could handle being a lecturer I love coaching people but I don't think I can just stand in front of a room with like a PowerPoint slide there and educating people on factual things <laughs> I can't do that I, I just don't think I have the patience for that I don't think I am made to be in the education sector I'll definitely host but I would not teach Okay, next question is what is your job? So my profession is actually in banking so I have worked in banking about 10 years but currently I am a digital creator so I'm doing influencing online I'm doing blogging and vlogging online Out of high school I went straight to work at the Federal Bank in Australia and I went to uni So right now I'm just focusing on my social media full time One of the perks is I get to interact with all you guys online so and this is why I'm doing this because I want you guys to know a little bit more about me Okay, so the next question is... Oh, this one's folded weirdly What is your favourite country in Asia? Japan Hands down, Japan is my favourite country So I lived in Japan when I was younger It is one of my favourite countries in the world Everything back from the culture to the food to the weather is absolutely perfect Everyone is so respectful Plus I have family that lives in Japan so uh, by default I have to go to Japan If you happen to be in Japan and you bump into me, say hi Alrighty The next question is Are you a full-time artist or vlogger? I would love to be a full-time artist but unfortunately my artistic skills don't go beyond folding pieces of paper like this so Anything beyond folding pieces of paper I can't do so Definitely not a full-time artist, but yes, I do social media full-time now And I promise I'll be in here a lot more Okay Any Netflix series that you're binge-watching? Um, so just recently I watched Kakegurui So that's a Japanese anime um, I highly suggest that you watch it So I watched the live-action version I'm yet to watch the anime version too 13 Reasons Why just got back on air So season 3 is back on I started watching Stranger Things before So that is definitely on the list to watch because it, I think it's getting hugely popular now There's a lot of hype on it So I really want to see what's happening there In that space I also want to know what your favourite shows are So just comment below And any recommendations let me know And I will happily watch it Oh one just popped out What's your favourite scent perfume? Ooh. Well, I've got visuals, so I'm just gonna quickly grab it Okay, so I've grabbed my top 3 favourite perfume So my third favourite is this one here I'm gonna do that thing Is this what vloggers do? 
So this one is called a low home home. Excuse my French. Edition Blanche. This one here has a very woody scent. And I like it during the colder months because I feel like woody scents warm me up. I don't know if that makes sense. In terms of olfactory, sensory, yeah, well, I don't know. In terms of smelling, I prefer this for winter. And this one here is called Blue, Blue de Chanel. And this one is the Parfum. So Parfum tends to last a lot longer um, throughout the day. So I just spray a few on my wrist because if it's too overpowering, I tend to get headaches. It is definitely one of my favorites. So I tend to wear this one every day. So I've been wearing this one for years. I love this one. So I started with the Eau de Toilette, but now I realize that Parfum lasts a lot longer. So I've gotten the um, quite the big bottle for it. And then my number one favorite is this one here. So this one is Louis Vuitton. So I'll just take it out of the packaging. Um, so this is what the bottle looks like. And it is in French. Um, Le Emene... Yeah. So I'm not even gonna bother reading that, but I love this one. So I normally just wear this one for special occasions. So if I have like a birthday or a wedding, um, this is what I normally wear. Well, oh, it smells really good. This is a very strong scent, so I just lightly spritz it on my wrist, so in my pulse point, so there, there, and probably two sprays on my neck, and that will last me the entire day. So the range by Louis Vuitton is quite strong in terms of the, um, the strength of the perfume, so, but yeah, this is definitely my number one favorite. Okay, so let's look at the other questions. <clears throat> Are you planning to stay longer here in the Philippines? Yeah, so I'm actually a dual citizen. I can um, fly back and forth between Australia and Sydney. So yeah, if there's a reason for me to stay in the Philippines, I definitely would. I love the Philippines. It's definitely my second home. Dog lover or cat lover, why? I am definitely a dog lover. I had so many dogs when I was younger. They're so loyal and they're always happy to see you. I'll just like come home to them and just be super excited. Over time, I think I've liked cats more because I have one of my best friends owns three cats. Whenever I visit their house, their cats are just there. They're very nonchalant. They don't acknowledge you when you're there. And I think that's part of where their appeal is. They're like playing hard to get. The less attention they give you, the more you want to give them more attention because you feel like, I guess, you've achieved something once. You know, they're more affectionate to you. And I've noticed with cats, they're really only nice when you, when they hear a packet of food opening. But I guess that's with dogs too, but cats are just very... I don't know, they have their own charm and I really did not like cats before. I guess over time, when I see more cats, I just got used to it. Okay, so we're down to our last three. What kind of music are you into these days? Any favorites? I love listening to any type of music. If I'm at the gym, I prefer very upbeat music. So I listen to remixes of very popular songs. So whatever's in the top 40, I prefer to listen to the remixes of that. So I tend to just go on YouTube. Um, but if I want something calm, if I try to sleep at night, I listen to classical music or jazz or even just electronic music. If I'm just around the house and I want um, some ambient music, I just put on some very calm and soothing music. I feel more relaxed generally when I do that. So I don't have any favorite genre specifically. It really depends on my mood. We are down to the last two. When are you visiting the States? Just two months ago, I actually visited New York for the first time and I absolutely fell in love with New York. It is nothing like I've ever seen in my life. It's just full of beautiful towers, beautiful people as well. So I stayed in Times Square, so it was very, a lot of hustle and bustle around the area, a lot of crowds. Probably one of the things I liked least about New York were the huge crowds because it's very hard to navigate around without 
you'd have to literally weave through people. A lot of them would just bump into you. And if, I guess if you fell down, they'll just literally trample in you and you'd die. So I didn't die. <laughs> I love New York. It has great food. There's just always something to do. It's literally the city that never sleeps. But yeah, I do want to visit other parts of the States. So I'd love to visit LA or San Fran in the future. Okay, lucky last question. Let's see what it is. What's your nationality? So my nationality is Australian, Filipino, so I'm a dual citizen. I was really expecting something more profound, but yeah, what can I do? This is the last question. Okay, so I just want to thank you guys for asking me all these questions. I hope it gave you an insight into a little bit more about me and got to know me a little bit better. If there's anything else you want to see for my future videos, just comment below. I read all the comments all the time. I'm going to post something else next week, but if there's any other content you want to see, comment below. If you haven't already, just like the video and subscribe to my channel for more updates. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video.